I don't even know where to begin. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and I'm still trying to figure out the best filming location in my house. I am actually upstairs in our guest bedroom, but it is completely empty. So I'm sure there's an echo, but hopefully it's not as bad as last time in my living room in front of the fireplace. So I am surrounded by Dollar Tree. This is a cumulative haul. I went to three stores um, over the course of a few days and I cannot wait to start decorating for Christmas. I think the Dollar Tree this year has come out with a lot of good items. So, and perfect timing for just moving into a new home. So I'm actually going to save the Christmas stuff for the end because those are the items that I am most excited about. Actually, I don't know, I'm really excited about several things that I found. So we're gonna start in the grocery section of the Dollar Tree first. All right, so when it comes to knickknacks and small appliances and little gadgets, I can't help myself in the kitchen. Like, I, I know, I have way too many, but I do use all of them weekly, monthly, maybe not, but I do use them at least a couple times a year. So my kids are not toddlers. They can eat a whole sandwich on their own, but they still like it when I make them fun little lunches, um, especially on the weekends when I have more time to put into them. So I've seen this at Walmart. I think it's close to like either three or $4. So finding it for a dollar I thought was a great deal and it is just this little fun bites, bite-sized food cutter set. It says 18 months and older, perfect for picky eaters, bite-sized squares as seen on Shark Tank. They did have a Paw Patrol one there as well, but I just got the generic one because I thought my kids would get a kick out of this one. It is dishwasher safe, which is awesome, BPA free, little finger safe, so it's not actually a knife or has sharp edges, it's just strong enough to press down into bread. Um, so I thought that would be fun and it shows collect them all. They have all sorts of different ones. These fun shaped ones look like fun, um, but they just had the little square ones. So I thought I would pick that up just to have on hand for in the kitchen. <laughs> and then I saw this. I thought this was cool. So I do not buy taco shells anymore. Um, we try, you know, it's a balance. I buy, you're gonna see here, I buy sugar and carbs and stuff like that, but it is a balance. There's some things that I have replaced. So I don't buy taco shells anymore. I buy the lower carb tortillas. But the other night when we were having tacos, Bryce was like, hey, when's the next time you're gonna buy shells? And I was like, oh, I wasn't really planning on it. And then the next day I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this. So this is a tortilla crisper microwavable so you take a tortilla a low carb tortilla and you turn it into a taco shell i thought that was really cool i can't wait to try it out hopefully it works so this is a two pack so i can do two at a time so i'll definitely maybe i'll share this on instagram or in an upcoming vlog or something like that um, the next time we have taco tuesday okay i picked these up to just tuck away until we officially have like our first get together in our house but i like the idea of this now these are chalkboard labels for drinks it has six in here and it says let's see this drink belongs to on both of them and you write your name now i was trying to find the like chalkboard markers because i feel like if you use chalk on this fingers are going to touch it it's just going to wipe off and you're going to have no idea whose drink it was but I thought the idea of these with some chalkboard markers would be really cute for like a grown up get together or something like that. Then I, the second I put these in my cart, I was like, really, Vanessa, really? You have lunch bags at home, but these are frozen lunch bags and they're the snack bags. So I don't use snack bags that often, but I thought, you know, frozen, it just, I know it's those little things that I just pick it up. All right, as far as food wise, I only got a few things that are non-Christmas. I did get some Christmas food, but I don't buy Pop-Tarts a ton anymore for my kids, but the fact that these are for a dollar, 
I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick them up. Um, my kids enjoy Pop-Tarts. These are the new kind that they came out with and they're calling them Simply. Now, are they good for you? No, <laughs> they're still a Pop-Tart, but they're a little better. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up and let them try it. So these are the Frosted Orchard Apple. I think in the Simply line, they do have the strawberry as well but they only had a ton of the apple at my Dollar Tree. So I don't know if the strawberry is out at Dollar Trees as well, but I do know the, the strawberry is at like your Walmart and HEV, your typical grocery store. So there are eight in here and let's see, I'm not gonna go through the nutrition facts because at the end of the day, no, they are not the best option for your child, but it's a little bit better. And for a buck, I figured, fun little treat for the kids. Speaking of fun little treat for the kids, I have never seen this before. Now, I don't really go and look at the Jello in the aisle with all the little treats like this at the grocery store, um, but when I see them at the Dollar Tree, I was like, ooh, that looks fun. So this is Jello Play Edible Sand in vanilla. It was the only flavor there. I did pick up three because I have three younger kids that I feel like would get a kick out of this. Um, I was looking at the expiration and it says 19 May 2020. I think on all three of them, yes. So not necessarily summertime. So I do need to like make a little note in my calendar to do this as like an end of the school year activity, not necessarily summer because then it's gonna expire. But I did think that that would be a lot of fun. My kids love anything that they can do with their hands and get messy and all that fun stuff. So I knew I needed to pick this up. All right, I wonder if my feet, I'm sitting on my feet. I wonder if they're gonna start hurting by the time I'm done with this. Okay, we are going to move on to the beauty section. I'm trying to get like the small piles out of the way first. So in the beauty section, I had a hard time deciding which ones, you guys. So this is a nail polish three piece set. Yes, the polishes are very, very tiny, but a little bit goes a long way if it's a good polish, if the color is good. Um, so I did pick up these two. I thought between myself and my kids, these were the ones that we would like the most. This one definitely gives me like Christmas, holiday vibes, even Thanksgiving because of that dark maroon. I love maroon for Thanksgiving. So this one is all sparkles. It's got a silver, actually that's not maroon, that's like a purple now that I'm looking at it up close. And then the green, super pretty. And this one is a light pink, a like a vibrant pink, and then an orange. So, but they had a ton of different color combinations, like a ton, a, a lot. I had a hard time picking. Then I got one of these Conair things the last time I went and I can't figure it out. I'm gonna have to like see if somebody did a YouTube video on it because I don't know. It's a fishtail braid and I just can't. But my daughter Pearl um, has been loving for me to do her hair. I'm actually gonna pop a picture right now because I didn't post it on Instagram, but she asked me to curl her hair this morning before school and I was like, okay, I'll try to do it real quick. Um, but yeah, she has been asking me to do all sorts of things and just experiment with her hair. So this is a waterfall braid maker. We'll see if I can get this one to work. Um, but yeah, I just need to, what is that channel? Cute little girl hairstyles or something like that. I need to start watching the heck out of that channel because she is definitely into the hairstyles right now and I've never been good at that. So I need to learn. All right, so that's it for the hair stuff. Uh, I have seen everybody haul this and I was like, you know what? That would be good just to keep on hand and have it on hand. So this is a relief soothing oatmeal bath treatment. Um, it does say compare to Aveeno active ingredient and it is effective relief of itches and rashes due to a sunburn, insect bites, eczema, poison ivy, oak, and sumac. Um, so definitely probably more likely to use this in the summertime, but like I said, this is just something nice to have on hand. There's six packets in here, so that's good. All right, something else in the beauty aisle, I actually got this for my oldest daughter, Paige, for her advent. Um, every single day, counting down December 1st to Christmas Eve, we do do, we do do, <laughs> my kids would make fun of me right now, um, we do an advent calendar, a countdown. So all of my kids, all four of them have something. And my oldest daughter, my grandmother, actually painted something for her several years ago. And we used to just do chocolates, but as she's gotten older, sometimes it'll be chocolate and sometimes I'll do something extra like this. So she actually, today when I'm filming this, she is supposed to be getting in her Jeffree Star, um, Shane Dawson bundle in that she's been saving for and got in on it before the website crashed. So I figured this would be good for her to use since she's gonna be playing with that palette for the rest of the year and all of next year. 
um, and it is a sassy and chic shadow switching sponge. So it says sponge cleaning tool that easily removes color from eyeshadow brushes so they can be used to apply a new color. So I thought she would enjoy that or at least get some use out of that. So I like to try to be a little bit fun, but also sometimes practical, at least for her, for Christmas time, because as a 15 going on 20 year old, aren't they all? Um, she is a little harder to shop for than the younger kids. Okay, so I got six of these. One for my oldest daughter for her advent, and then one for me because I love the Yes To brand. And then I got four because out of my three younger kids that are in public school, they have four teachers between the, four, the three of them. Um, so I did pick up several things to start making their gift baskets. And this one is the Yes To Miracle Oil Brighten In Condition, and it is an Argan Oil Mud Mask. So I, like I said again already, I love the Yes To brand, and I'm not a huge fan of the paper masks. I prefer the ones that you put on and you either peel or wash off. Okay, so that is it in the beauty section. And then I only got two containers. I do not need another container, but I just, I couldn't help myself. These are gonna go in my bathroom in my linen closet because I have a ton of little things that I need to contain. And I just love these two. I thought they were super cute. So one of them is white and it says trinkets and things. And then the other one is gray and it says favorite things. I just, I couldn't help myself. I thought they were super cute. So I picked those up. Okay, running out of band-aids. Band-aids is a must when you have children in the house. I mean, heck, even myself, I cut myself sometimes. Um, so I went ahead and got these two. I got a Barbie pack. I love getting band-aids at the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of little, you know, the fun ones for the kids. And then I got the camo in case my son or my husband hurt themselves. They don't need to use a Barbie one. Okay, so I did get some Christmas socks, but non-Christmas socks. My oldest daughter has been stealing my socks and she has socks. I don't know. I think it's because I have the fun printed ones. So I got several different ones and I'll let her choose if she wants any of them or I'll just put them in my sock drawer and she can steal them from me later. So I got this one, it has tacos on it and all of these are a two pack. It comes with one printed one and then one like generic one. So the other one is just this really pretty turquoise with a gray heel. But again, the front one is the tacos. This one is latte cups, like little coffee cups from a coffee shop. And then the second pair is just a striped purple and navy blue. And then this one is pizza. I love the color. I love this blue color. It's one of my favorite colors. So it's the pizza. And then the other one is striped also. And it's got that blue. And then what is it? Gray, red, and white. So just need to have a few extra socks on hand. And I love getting them from the Dollar Tree. They are not the best quality. They're pretty thin, but they're perfect for just walking around the house in. Okay, let's get into the arts and crafts section. So this section has been blowing up at the Dollar Tree. I've seen a ton of people haul all sorts of stuff. I mean, if you are into planning and stickers and all that, now is the time for you at the Dollar Tree, let me tell you. So this, what is it, Crafter Square? Crafter Square brand is blowing up. So I did pick up just a few things. I got this glue tape. I thought that would be nice to have on hand for when the kids do arts and crafts or there are a couple things I'm going to try to do this year around the house for some like DIYs. So I picked that up and then I picked up, let's see, canvases. So all of my kids love to paint and this is a great deal. I mean, canvases can really start adding up when you're, especially if you're getting them from like Michaels and Hobby Lobby, they are very pricey. So when you, whenever I find the bigger ones, they always have the tiny ones at the Dollar Tree, but the bigger ones are a hit or miss at my stores anyway. So I went ahead and got four of each of them. I got four of the eight by 10, and these are a little thicker. So I got one for each of my kids. I almost picked up more, but I was like, calm down, Vanessa. And then I got four of these ones, and these are flat. They are very, very thin. They're not the thicker canvas ones. And these are eight by eight, so a little square instead of a rectangular. And then I had sent a picture to my oldest daughter asking her if she wanted one, because typically I would only pick up three of things, but she loves to paint. And she also saw this in the picture and asked me to pick this up for her too. So this is an artist palette, so she can put her paints in here and mix them if she wants to hold it while she's painting. She has a little easel in her room, so I did get that for her as well. And then this is something that I'm gonna to try to do sort of like a DIY, just put them together. I don't know if it's going to work, but 
I am working on a command center in my home. I'm having four kids and you know, jobs and activities and after school stuff, like it gets a little crazy. I need it all in one area instead of different notebooks around the house. Um, so I saw this and I'm gonna try to put them together. I thought it would be cheaper to do it this way than to buy a cork board or bulletin board. They get kind of pricey, but we'll see. If it doesn't work, I'm out four bucks. But these are adhesive cork sheets. Each one is 11.75 by 7.75. So I did get four of them to try to turn into a big one or one for each child. Again, I'm not sure how I'm gonna set up my command center yet, but I am gonna need to attach this to something because if I just put this on the wall and I put a, um, a pin in it, it's going to stick into my wall. It's going to put little holes all into my wall. So I just picked these up to have on hand to figure out if I want to do something with it. Otherwise, I'll just stash them away and re-gift them or something like that. Last thing in the crafting aisle is my kids, like I said, love to paint and they are almost out of paint. And let me see if I can pick all of these up. So this is what the Crayola paint used to look like. And this was the only one that they didn't have in the new version. So that's why I'm able to show it to you. So I did get a red. I got one of each color that I found. So this is kids washable paint, washable. That is the key word when your kids are painting and they are, they have a new look now. So this is what they look like now. I thought that was cute. And again, my kids are almost out of paint. So I did go ahead and get one of each color. So I got a magenta looking one, a purple, green, yellow. Let's see if I can be quick about this. This one I loved. This is a, like a, a skin colored one. Looks like me. So my kids love when they find things like that and they can paint in faces and stuff like that. Then I got a black, a brown, and this pretty, pretty blue turquoise aqua color. So my kids are set on some paint for their canvases now. Okay, I'm gonna get a little lower because my feet are starting to fall asleep from sitting here. Okay, so I got a few things from the toy aisle and let me show you. All right, this I got either for, I mean, we do several things for Christmas time. So stocking, Elf on the Shelf, Advent, you name it. Um, we do all sorts of activities. So I love to have lots of things on hand that I can just pick and choose from. Um, and I'm one of those people who I will make a calendar ahead of time and then change things last minute. Yes, I do that. So this is a Disney Princess Magic Art Scratchers. So there's two Magic Art Scratchers in here and one little stylus to do the scratching. Um, so my girls love these things and they are pretty messy. Obviously you're scratching something off and that stuff goes somewhere. So it'll be all over the place, but it's pretty easy to clean up. So I went ahead and got that just to have on hand for something. Then the last Dollar Tree haul I shared, they had a bunch of new colors out for the Lego pieces off brand. I think it's called what make it blocks. Yes. This time they had a bunch and I almost went buck wild buying every single one of them. But then I was like, girl, you do not want your kids with these stickers all over the place. So I did pick up two of the same kind. They only had one like girly kind. So that was this one. And they are stickers to put on your Legos. It says peel and stick use over and over and it's 47 pieces um, building, building block stickers. Create your own exciting princess scenes with these amazing custom graphics that easily stick to your blocks. So let me see if I can show you so I'm gonna have this with those Lego pieces that I picked up and I'm pretty sure our elves, Lindsay and Bunga, are gonna get into that and do something with it for the kids. And then the one that I picked up for Bryce, they had a ton of different kinds um, for boys. I mean, for anything really. They had a firefighter one, a police one, um, like a military one. What else did they have? I mean, they had a ton of different ones. I picked up the zombie one for my son because I knew he would get a kick out of that. It's the same thing, 47 pieces, create your own exciting zombie scenes with these amazing custom graphics that easily stick to your blocks. They are peel and stick and you can use them over and over again. So I got those to go with the Legos. And then I've seen several people haul these, but this is the first time that I have seen these in my stores. And they are the, what are they calling them? Top Trumps Play Discover 
six years and up, I think is for all on all of them. Yeah, so basically it reminds me of, let me move again. It reminds me of war when you're playing the card game and the top card, you know, the card is set down and you win, um, but you gotta be quick about it. So this is, kind of reminds me of that. It has tons of different kinds. So it says shuffle and deal all 20 cards. Look at your top card, choose your best category and call out the number. Um, and then everybody else call out your number from that same category. Highest is the round winner. Also, it's a little educational, so I love that. My kids love to play games. So this one is World's Tallest Buildings. Then we have Which Do You Want to Explore the Wonders of the Earth? Um, this one is all fantasy, horses, that kind of thing. Then we've got Hot Rods. Which car is the coolest? Hunters. Who is the deadliest? And then dogs <laughs> who's the most lovable so i thought these would be fun and you know semi-educational for the kids and us to play together like i said they love to play games all right we are getting closer and closer to the christmas stuff one last section and this one i actually picked up quite a few things and it was oh i forgot one crafting thing and then the rest is home decor so last thing in the craft aisle is this little washi tape um, and it's not by Crafter Square, I don't think. They have a ton of these. It's it's a Dollar Tree brand, um, but it has a bunch of cacti on it, little cactus plants all over. And I got this again for my oldest daughter, Paige, um, for either her something Christmas related. All right, so going into some home decor, I got some calendars, and I got four of them because again, teachers. I'm making teacher baskets and I just do nice and easy and all four of them are gonna have the same thing. So I pick up several different items um, from like the Dollar Tree and Walmart, things like that, and then I will add in a little gift card also. Um, but I saw these and I thought they were really, really cute. These are Inspirational Quotes 2020 calendars. So it includes a fold out stand and then each day is a new quote. The quote on the front says, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated by Maya Angelou. Angelo, and then the one on the back is by Walt Disney. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. I should have got myself one of these. I might, I might get myself one the next time I go back. Um, but on the back it says advanced coloring calendar. Are you supposed to color it? Oh, maybe you can. So it shows it colored, but it's black and white. The pages are black and white. Okay, I didn't even notice that. That's really cute, but again, I got four of them. They had a whole bunch of different ones. They had a, like a joke one. They had a word search. They might have, I think they, there was one more. I think there was like four in total, but I got the inspirational one because that's the one that stood out to me the most and all four teachers are women. So that's very girly with the flowers and the coloring and all that. Whew. It is really cold in this room. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're still with the home decor. I picked up these for my younger two. I have twins, they just turned seven, and they love to paint and color and all of that. And I have coloring sheets everywhere. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree. I love the colors. Now they do come with the little, what are these? Oh my gosh, uh, suction hooks, duh. They come with the suction hooks, but these are going in their rooms, so they're not gonna work on the wall. So I'll use like a command strip or something, but they're little itty bitty plastic colored clothespins on a line so they can have their artwork in their room. I thought that was cute. So I don't know if I'm going to have this like as a gift to them over the Christmas season or just put, I'll probably just put this in their room so they can start hanging up and displaying their artwork. All right, for my oldest, this is just a little stand. It has a little like kickstand on the back that you can open up. So I got this for my daughter Paige. She loves cactus. And I love the colors in this. She has this pink color in her bathroom. So I thought this would be cute in there for her to just display somewhere, add a little artwork in there. But this will be something, like I mentioned, advent calendar. The elves might be in her bathroom one day and they can steal that and display it for her. I don't know, but I like to have things on hand. And then I got a lot of stuff. I, I got too much stuff, I don't know. Okay, I went back and forth on these. I couldn't make up my mind, so I did go ahead and pick them up, and if I don't end up using them, I will donate them. Let me see if I can untangle them, but I thought these were super cute. 
and that they would be cute somewhere in my girl's room, my twins, Rose and Pearl. So I did get these, and the reason why I got these is one, they're cute. I mean, butterflies, pretty. But two, they were right next to these. And my girls have a few necklaces now, and they're getting tangled. They have little jewelry drawers on their sink countertop, and they're getting tangled. So I saw these, and I was like, okay, hey, those are cute. So I picked up two of them and then they were right next to these and I was like, oh, is that too much? Would that be like cute to get? I don't know. I just picked them both up. So these don't have a lot, but my girls don't have a lot of necklaces. They're still young, um, but one, two, three, four, five. They have five little hooks on there. So I did go ahead and pick those up. They had several different kinds. They had an arrow. Nope, it wasn't an arrow, it was a feather. It was a feather. Um, I feel like they had another one but I don't know what it was. But I got the butterflies because I thought that would go best. Their bathrooms are mermaid themed, but this color, this purpley color um, is in their bathroom. So I thought that would be pretty to kind of tie in something else. And then speaking of mermaids, I saw this and they have a linen closet and there's not a lot in the linen closet, but they do open it for their towels and extra toilet paper. So I have just a few little decor pieces that they are absolutely loving and they're like, I like opening the door and seeing the Little Mermaid. So this is one that they don't have. So I went ahead and picked this up and I'll just put that in there for when they open it. Um, but it says make your own magic and the glitter does fall off. But again, it's behind a closed door in their bathroom. So I'm not worried about it. And then as far as their bedrooms, their bedrooms are themed. Roses is unicorn and pearls is llama. And I found way too many llama themes. Okay, and then for their rooms, I got a couple different wall arts. There's no shelving in their rooms or a lot of furniture other than their beds right now. But after Christmas, they will be getting a complete like redo, not really redo because it's not even done, but their rooms will be complete shortly after Christmas. So I'm excited to get in there and start decorating. So Pearl loves llamas. That is her room theme. And I saw these two prints and I thought they were very, very pretty. They might even, I mean, depending on how long Pearl is into llamas, these could easily grow with her because they're so chic looking. I don't think they're, you know, kitty looking at all. I think they're very, very pretty. So I did pick those two up. And then I saw this one and I thought that was cute. It just says wander more and it does have the llama and it's very sparkly, so that'll bring a little bit more of this teal color into her room. I love it. Only one thing with like a unicorn theme to it, so I got this for Rose, and it's a cat. <laughs> it's a cat unicorn, a cat corn. I don't remember what they call it, but it just says magical dreams, and again, I love the colors on it. Super, super pretty, so I got that for her room. Okay, last, but certainly not least, and actually not last. You're gonna wanna stick to the end. I have a little something for y'all. But now we're going to get into Christmas and I am just so excited. I don't know if it's because we have a little bit more space for me to decorate and the kids are super excited that I am just over the moon. Um, but I am definitely not going to be decorating as much as next year, but I have picked up a few things and being able to save a little bit of money and getting a few things from the Dollar Tree, I am over the moon excited and I'll definitely share as I put these things up in vlogs and stuff like that. Um, but I think I found some cute stuff. So we're going to start with this first. What? How cute is this snowman mug? I think he is so cute. I actually picked up five. So this one's for me and then I have four more that I'm keeping wrapped up and they are for the teachers and I'll show you here next. Um, but I got something that I'll actually show you right now. I got these fluffy little socks that I thought were super cute and they're so fluffy to go in here. And then I think I'm gonna put the gift card right here with, um, I love that teachers at the beginning of the school year, they send home like their favorites and all four teachers have Starbucks written on there. So I might do a Starbucks gift card or Target, all four of them love Target also. Um, or I'll, maybe I'll do like $15 to each or something like that. But I thought that would be super cute. So I got five of these, again, one for myself, four for the teachers, because I just, I love coffee mugs. And then I actually got six of these. I got four for the teachers, and then I got one for myself and one for my oldest daughter because she loves socks. She keeps stealing mine. So these are just, I love these fluffy socks. 
from the Dollar Tree and these actually hold up pretty well. I actually have a pair on right now that I got last year that are still going strong. All right, so we're gonna stay with the socks. I actually got several more. So at first, I was just going to get one of these for my daughter Rose because it is, can you see that? It's Christmas themed, but it's a unicorn, super cute. And then I was just gonna get one of these for my daughter Pearl. So again, Christmas themed, but it's a llama. But I was like, you know what? Christmas is not just one day. The holiday season, it, I should not say Christmas because everybody celebrates different things during the holiday season. The holiday season is not just one day. Why do I only pick up one pair of socks? So I did get two of each for them so they could enjoy them both. Because I know even though Rose loves unicorns, she will enjoy the llama ones also. And then for my son Bryce, I picked him up a two pair as well. So this is a sloth, and is he in, yeah, he's in a stocking. So I got that pair for my son Bryce, and then I think he'll like this, but we'll see. Um, it's not like he's wearing shorts anymore, but these are men's crew socks, but he can pull them up, we'll see. Um, otherwise, I will show them to my son, if he's like, yeah, no, those are too big, then I'll give them to my husband, and he can have a little pep in his step at work, but these are men's crew socks and it just has a gingerbread man with his arm broken off and it says, oh snap. So I thought those were super cute. So I got those ones. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Okay, so many things. All right, so I did get some Christmas themed by the Skunsy, is that how you say it? Skunsy, I think it's Skunsy. By the Skunsy brand, I got the little ponytail holders that are Christmas themed, red, white, green. And then there's one that is kind of like Chevron with all three of those colors. So I got those for my girls. Then should we, okay, we'll go right here. All right, I got some garland from Target. Um, not lighted, I don't want cords anywhere around the stairs. So it's just plain old green garland. And I think at the bottom of the stairs on the two banisters, I'm going to see if these will look good. So I did get two larger bows, um, and I like this like darker red than the bright red for the band store at least. I have a couple things, I think. Oh, maybe I got the dark red in all of it. I don't know. But I like the darker red better. I think it's really, really pretty and more elegant looking. So I did get those to see if they would work on the stairs. Then let's go back to the kids. Um, they love to put stickers on everything. So I liked these instead of the window. They do have window clings, Christmas themed ones, but I like these ones. That way they could put these on their walls. So they had a couple different designs. Um, I think they had like five or six in all, but I picked up the three that I thought my kids would like the most. So I got this one and I will let them look at them and choose. I got that one and this one. And then and that one. And again, these are for the wall. I, you could probably put these on windows also, but it would just look white from outside. The um, picture you could only see from the bedroom. So I'm gonna have them put those on their walls. And then let me get all of these together. Okay, so now that I'm looking at these together, I'm not a fan of these with what I had planned, but maybe I'll put these in my girls' bathrooms. Their sinks are large enough to have something. So I got these, originally I had these little nooks, niches in the wall. There's two of them upstairs and upstairs is the kids area. And I got, I'll show you in a second, a couple things to decorate it for. And I was gonna put these in them, but they don't really go. So these might go in my girl's bathroom. We'll see. But this is what I got for in the nooks. So I got two of these very, very thin wreaths. Two. and I'm gonna use command strips. And then I saw this, it says let it snow. And I was gonna try to hang it kind of like, like this. So you could see the wreath from behind. And then I was gonna put this on the little ledge, but see, I think that's too shiny, too green. Maybe I'll find a different kind of tree for it, but I thought that would look super cute together. So that's for one of them upstairs. And then this one, ho, 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 is for the other one. I just thought that looked really cute together and I know the kids are gonna like having a little bit of Christmas decor upstairs. I think next year 
I will try to find um, like bedding for the kids and bathroom stuff, but as far as right now, it's just gonna be little decor pieces. So maybe I'll leave it blank, the ledge blank for now, and just pick up pieces after Christmas for next year, because those are super cute on their own. Um, so, all right, a few extra things, Christmas things that I got as fillers for around the house. I got these two. These do look a little cheap to me, but they're supposed to be little fillers. They're not supposed to be sitting out on their own, but I still thought they were super cute. So there's just little cranberry, little berries with the cotton ball in there, and then they're wrapped in the burlap, burlap sack, and it's got some greenery. So, okay, well, not too bad. It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. The cotton is kind of all over the place, and the burlap sack has pieces falling off. But I think once I mess with it, they'll be super cute, just as little filler pieces somewhere. And then I saw these. And these are typically put this around a candle. It just says mini wreath, um, but I might hang these up as filler somewhere as little mini wreaths. I mean, command strips are your best friend. Don't put holes in your wall, use command strips everywhere. So I got these as either little mini wreaths or I don't really buy candles that are super, super tiny like this anymore, but maybe as a filler with something in the middle, like a reindeer or something. Speaking of reindeer, these are ornaments. But I don't think I'm going to use them as ornaments. I'm going to use them as, like I said, little figures, little fillers somewhere. So I got the brown one and the white one. They're super cute. There is a tan, a lighter brown looking one. Brown. How did I just say that? I did not say brown. I said some other word. There is a lighter brown looking one. It's tan, but their antlers are like an off color. It doesn't match as well as these two. So I just picked up these two. Then also an ornament that I'm not going to use as an ornament was this hat. I thought it was super cute. There is a black one as well, but there's on all of them at my store, it looked like, I can't remember what's on it that's white, but they spray painted it when it was already on the hat. So there's like white spray paint that doesn't look like it goes all over the black part and it just looks messy and not nice. So I just got this one. Okay, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, I know. I got six of these, so I'm not even going to hold them up. I got six of them because we are a family of six, and I thought I would try to put these in between our stockings on the mantle. I don't know if that's going to look good or not. Um, I think these would look good on a tree as well, or maybe around somewhere else. We also have a bar top in our kitchen, so maybe hanging from that. I'm not sure yet, but I did get six of these. I was looking for... I don't remember who I saw haul it. Maybe it was Crafty Girl. I could have sworn she had like a banner of them, like a garland of three of these connected, but I've looked at several different Dollar Trees and I could not find that. That was what I was originally looking for. Um, but then I saw these just one-offs, so I got six of them, but they are a good size, size of my hand, a little bigger. Um, so I get to get six of those. I thought those were cute. You know you're talking too long when your feet are really starting to get sore. Okay, I did get another kitchen item. Super cute, I had to get it. It's got the hot chocolate, the coffee mugs all over it. So I did get this for myself. They had a red truck one. I'm just not as obsessed with the red truck as everybody else. I kind of like a collection of everything, but I do love me some coffee cups. So I got that, and then speaking of coffee cups, I got the tablecloth that has the coffee cups on it. I pick up several of these every holiday, all year round, because again, my kids are messy and we do a lot of activities and I like to decorate easily with this uh, for parties and stuff like that. So I got that one because that's the one I like. And then I got two other ones just to have on hand. So this one's super cute. It's got the red, white, and green Christmas trees, presents, candy canes, so cute. And then this one is definitely more kid friendly. Um, the little Christmas scene with the snowman. Oh, it does have the red truck on there as well. I am covered in Christmas. Okay, so I did get some stuff for my kids to wear if they want. Um, last year, the Dollar Tree was selling, and I think I've seen them out this year already too. I don't remember. But the red scarf with the little white pom-poms and they have little jingle bells in them. I got this last year, still have them for the kids. And then this year, I got a tie for my son Bryce. If he doesn't want to wear it, I don't think Mark will. He's 
no <laughs> but i think bryce will maybe um for our christmas party or something so i did get that for him they had several different kinds with different pictures on it i did go ahead and get the reindeer and it says merry christmas and then for all four of the kids again i don't know if bryce will wear it and i don't know if my oldest Paige will wear it but i didn't want to leave anybody out so i got one for everybody so i got this one for bryce and it is the sequin hat and it's silver and gold so i got that for him for my daughter Paige, my oldest i got her the gold and the red we'll see I, I think she's the one that might not want to wear it but we'll see and then for my twins rose and pearl i got the red and green i know they will wear these so i got they just they love the sequins so i got those more decor um i got these little jingle bells ah lights i thought they were super cute i was looking for a really like a smaller vase to put these in and just have as extra decor with maybe a bow or something but i haven't really found exactly what i'm going to do with these yet but i knew i wanted to get them now before they ran out and they're just little jingle bells and they light up they are battery operated they have a ton of different kinds but i like these the best kids lunches I didn't film a Halloween one. I don't know if I'm going to film a Christmas one, but if I do, I'll definitely share it with y'all. If I don't, I'll take pictures and post it on my Instagram. But I did love these napkins for my kids for their Christmas theme lunches. And it just says express your elf. So I got those. All right. I got a couple different food items. So the first one I got, what, what is the beans? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the beans, but the jelly beans, um, I've actually done a couple different taste test videos in the beginning of my channel here, um, where they, you, it's hit or miss. You get a really good tasting one or you get a nasty one. This one is Candy Cane's Naughty or Nice Candy Cane Game. Take turns spinning the spinner. Whatever the color you, get, you land on, you must try that flavor. Find out if you have a naughty or nice flavor. So there's three different color candy canes in here. The green is either green apple or fish. Oh my gosh. The red is either cherry or onion. And the blue is either blue raspberry or dirty socks. What? Oh my gosh. I think this is gonna be so fun to play with the kids. So I had to get that. And then sticking with the candy canes. <gasps> How cute are these? What? So these are individually wrapped candy cane spoons. They are peppermint flavored. And I actually had to go through a lot of them before I found one that didn't have any broken. So be careful, look at them. There were several that the spoon part was broken off from the stick. But I just thought that that was a great find at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, so I'm gonna have these set out by my coffee machine because my oldest daughter loves hot chocolate. So I thought this would be a fun little addition for her for her hot chocolate for the holiday season. All right, let's stick with the food because I did have several other things. And for these, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do yet. I picked up three different snacks and I picked up four of each because I have four kids, but I also have four teachers that I'm buying for. So I'm gonna let my kids pick two of these. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna make the decision because these are very kid friendly. All right, I just made the decision. All right, I picked up four of these. These are the M&Ms and in holiday mint. So I picked up four of these. These are going in the teacher's gift baskets. Then I picked up four of these. I thought this was a really good find at the Dollar Tree. These are seasonal favorites, sweet chaos, handmade kettle corn with peppermint, oh, it's peppermint crunch drizzled with sweet white and dark icing. It says popped in coconut oil, non-GMO popcorn, and then made with cane sugar and sea salt. So I picked up four of these for the teacher's baskets as well. Then, I don't think these are new. I think they had these last year or something very, very close to it. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Snack Mix. It has pretzels, peanuts, and then peanut butter filled shapes that look like characters from Rudolph the movie. So I picked up four of these and we always do several different movie nights during the holiday season we pick out a couple different holiday themed movies christmas movies that kind of thing and i thought these would be a fun treat for the kids on one of those nights so i'm going to save 
these for that. All right, we are getting down. We're getting down. I mean, I still have a few more things, but we're getting there. All right, I picked up this faux snow as a, um, actually as an activity. I have, I bought, I purchased the bigger snowflake ornaments last year that are just the wood, the cutout, and we never did anything with them. So we're gonna decorate them this year and I'll let the kids hang them up somewhere. So I got this to see, ooh, I don't know, this is gonna be pretty messy. So we'll see, but I did get this to kinda, I don't know, put a little of the stick glue down and then sprinkle this on it. We'll see if that works. Then, okay, so this is a little small, but I think it'll work. I picked this up, it's got the coffee cups, it's see-through, just a clear little jar. I thought I would see if this would work as holding K-cups near our coffee pot, um, just as like a little coffee Christmas themed bar. We'll see though, but if I don't use it for that, I can definitely use it for something else, but I thought that was super cute. Had to have it. Then, last year I picked up a couple of these and my kids absolutely love them. We actually still have two of them. One of them went missing though. I don't know what happened to it. So this is a different print, I believe, than last year. So I went ahead and picked it up, but my kids love the Rubik's Cube or 3D puzzle is what they're calling it. So I went ahead and picked that up. It's got cute little designs all over it. Then sticking with the kids, I picked up some arts and crafts for them. I picked this up for every single season because this is something super easy not extremely messy to set up at the table with the kids and they will go to town on this and you can work on something else while they're doing this. This is just like an easy kit for them to do. So what it is, it's um, just use water. So it has the color, let me show you the back. It has the print and then every single page has these little paper, it's still the paper of paint on here. And what we use, it comes with a tooth, a toothbrush. Oh my gosh, it comes with a paintbrush, but I use Q-tips. I give them a few different Q-tips. I give them a little itty bitty bowl of water and a napkin and they go to town painting them. But they always love these. I had one for Halloween, I have one for Thanksgiving and I picked one up for the holiday season as well. Then I got two of these because there's two different kinds. I'm going to give one to my oldest daughter. I think she, she might enjoy this. So I got one of these for her and then one of these just to have on hand for my other children if they wanna try it or for me. But they are just Christmas coloring books um, for you know more adult-ish. And it does say on here it has free music download included. So free downloadable songs included. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like five, are they different? And they are different songs on each of these books. So I thought that was cool. Got that. My oldest daughter is already listening to Christmas music. I hear it all day, every day for the past week, blasted in my house. Okay, as far as bags, I need to, I do not have anything on hand. I have no wrapping paper. I have a few bows maybe, I don't know. But I purged all of it when we moved earlier this year. So I do need to stock back up that I don't wanna go crazy. I don't wanna have a huge amount on hand because they're gonna go on clearance after Christmas. So I picked these two up because I just love them. I thought they were super cute. This one says no peeking until Christmas. Yep. This side has a lot of glitter on it. This side does not. And then this one says do not open until the 25th December. It doesn't say of on here. I just noticed that. Do not open until the 25th December. That's all right. It's still cute. So again, this side has the glitter. This side does not. So those are the only two bags I picked up. Then this is something I need to stop purchasing because I do not need another platter in my house, but I just loved it. Oh, I just loved it. I thought it was so pretty. So I picked this one up, says tis the season. And actually this is not a platter. This is a charger plate, but I don't use charger plates. Um, I will use this as a platter, but I don't need any more platters, but it was super cute. And then I got this. So I have three, four, I have three or four of these now, but that's okay. I do a lot of baking. So once some are dirty, I have other ones that are Christmas themed to use until I do the wash. That was my reasoning behind picking up another one. You like that? So this one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. They have this print, but a lot of different sayings. I just love this one the most. So I got that. And last but not least, I got some chair covers. Just, I mean, I think my kids are gonna love having these on the chairs. So I picked up four, we are a family of six, but if you've seen my table, we have a bench on one side and then four chairs. 
so I only needed four. And hopefully these fit. They look like they're bigger than the other ones. During the other holidays, I think it was, was it Easter? I don't remember. There was another holiday where I picked up some chair covers, but they were like kid size. They did not fit on my chair. So I'm hoping these fit. I'm only gonna open one and try it out. But, and if they don't, I will see if somebody else can use them or I'll, ret I'll return them, switch them out for something else. So that is it. Psych, just kidding, that's not it. I got some books, but I wanted to save them until the end because you'll see here in a second. So first book I got was this one. It says, follow me back, see me, want me, love me. Um, and I actually already read a book by the same person, I think. Oh, I don't remember, but this one sounded good. It's about somebody who gets trolled and things go wrong. Um, but my daughter, my oldest daughter, and I love these kind of books. It says dark and suspenseful. Um, it's sure to be the next thing in YA thrillers. So I got that. It's a good size book. So I hope it'll take me more than two days to read, which is my average. It takes me about two days to read a book because I read too fast. Then I got this one. I think this is going to be a fun read. So this is Lauren Graham. And oh my gosh, uh, Gilmore Girls. My mind was going blank there. From Gilmore Girls. Um, to the Gilmore Girls and everything in between, talking as fast as I can. So I think I'm going to enjoy reading that. I love getting books from the Dollar Tree. And then I got this one. I just think it's nice to have. It'll be fun to read. So it says, The Joy of Writing a Great Cookbook. How to Share Your Passion from Cooking, from Idea to Published Book to Marketing It Like a Bestseller. Not saying I'm going to try to create another cookbook if you guys didn't know um myself kira from 50 shades of mom and nicole burgess we created a cookbook last year it was a fun project definitely a learning experience um and it's been fun to do that but it was a lot harder than we thought and we sold it through amazon well it's still available for sale through amazon um but it didn't turn out exactly how we had hoped so I thought I would get this just to look at it and read it and get some new ideas just in case I ever try to put together something else. So I got that one. And then the last book I got was this one. This definitely sounds like a good read. It's called Split Feather, Daughter of the Midnight Sun. Uh, life really sucks when you're surrounded by demons. I love reading supernatural sci-fi type books. So does my oldest daughter. So I got this one, but because I went to three Dollar Trees, several different days in a row. I wasn't paying attention, and I guess the book sounded so good that I picked it up twice. So, I was like, you know what? I have a lot of Dollar Tree books that I just read the past two weeks. I am going to do a quick little giveaway on a Dollar Tree haul for whoever stuck it out this long, because I know I've been talking for a while. I had to replace my memory card, yeah. Well, the card was already full of stuff, but I had to replace the memory card and that never happened. So I have this extra book that I have not read yet, so I don't know if it's good. I'm just assuming it's gonna be good because I'm not that picky. I just love to read and it's rare that I come across a book that I just don't like. So this is going to be in the giveaway. And then these are three books that I just finished the last week and a half these three. The Cellar, this one was really good. I loved it. They are all not necessarily sci-fi. This one's not sci-fi. This one is a guy kidnaps a girl. I don't want to tell you the whole book, but you can look it up if you want to. Um, so this one was definitely very interested. It says for months, Summer is trapped in a cellar with a man who took her and three other girls. So that's what this one is about. These two are not this one. This one is more sci-fi. So this is when Sarah sleeps, she's a danger to herself, but when she takes a new drug meant to cure her, she becomes a nightmare to everyone else. This one was pretty good as well. I'm kind of hoping that there's another one, a number two, because it kind of just ended. It didn't like the story didn't end, like the, it could be more. So I'm gonna look up and see if there's a number two. But this one was really good too. So that one's gonna be in the giveaway. And then the last one is this one, Stags. This one is not sci-fi either. This one is just about a school with some kids who are psychotic. <laughs> so, and then some good kids. So I'm trying to just give a, I'm not good at explaining books because I just like to read too many things. So that's what this one is about. So all four of these, if you guys like to read, I want to give back. So all four of these are up for grabs. I will mail them anywhere 
out US, whatever, it's gonna cost me an arm and a leg, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to, I don't want anyone to miss out. So all four of those books, all you have to do is leave me a comment down below and tell me what your favorite thing to read is. I like to read sci-fi, thrillers, that kind of thing, supernatural, with a little bit of like romance thrown in every now and then. <laughs> but typically those are the books that I go for. So you let me know what kind of book you love to read down below and then I will just have a comment generator, pick it, I don't even know what day this video is going out. I will comment three days later. Whenever this video is going out, I'll have it in the description box. I'll comment three days later on the winner. Instead of using my community tab, because nobody likes my community tab, I'll comment on the comment. So I'm not gonna comment on anybody's comment. I'll heart everybody so you can see that I saw it, but I'm only gonna comment on the winner three days after this video posts. All right, so that's enough talking. I need to clean this up because I have a few things to do today. It's 9 a.m. in the morning, and I have a full day ahead of me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I will probably have one more, maybe two, before the end of the year, uh, because this is just my favorite time to shop at the Dollar Tree. They come out with a ton of good stuff um, for kids and holiday decor, all that kind of thing. So give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I would love for you guys to join my channel. I don't just do Dollar Tree hauls, but I do them a lot more at the end of the year than the beginning. <laughs> so if you guys like cooking, grocery hauls, mom life vlogs, that kind of thing, you're definitely going to want to stick around and check out what I'm going to be sharing. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.